Thank you, Dave. In this economy, getting where you want to go and getting there cheap is certainly the way to go. Here to tell us all about how you can get around without gassing up your car. And in a rural area is Tri-County Link Executive Director William Hutto. William, thanks so much Good for being morning. here. Really appreciate you coming on. Tell us a little about Tri-County Link and what it does and, and who it serves. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about where we came from. Sure. We, we were originally uh, incorporated as a public nonprofit corporation in 1996 by the three counties, and we've grown since then. Uh, we serve the rural areas of the three counties, Berkeley, Charleston, and Dorchester County, and we interface uh, or we connect with Carter Rouse so that people can continue on into the city. So um, we've had a real good success rate in what we've done. We've grown tremendously over the last seven years, actually have doubled in size. Uh, we're doing things that uh, I think are putting us on the map. We have Wi-Fi on our, yeah. our, our fixed route buses. We have a community outreach person that actually gets out in the community with our mascot, Linky, to spread the word. and. And uh, we've done a lot of nice things. Now, you guys say that you are growing and you're continuing to grow. Tell us about some of the new routes that have come and some of the new routes that are in the works. Dorchester County, who is one of our uh, areas that we serve, came to us and uh, they see a need and we see the need also of a route that's going to connect Somerville and St. George. And so that's in the plans now. We're hoping to have that finalized. There's a lot of groundwork that needs to be done, community involvement, that sort of thing. But uh, we're looking at sometime early spring that we mm -hmm. will have a route that will actually connect St. George, Somerville, and it will be a commuter style route that will also interface with Carter at uh, the, the Otranto area. And bring it into North Charleston. Now you, now you said that you, you guys serve the rural population. Tell us about why these people need transportation so much. Well, it's not, the demographics of our riders have really changed over the last five years. Normally, when you think of public transportation in the South, you think of those people that can't afford a car. And those demographics have really changed, especially with the advent of the commuter routes that we're doing now. And that's been our biggest uh, growing service. Uh, as an example, uh, historically, or uh, this past year in the state, rural transportation was actually down by 5% statewide. Okay. But in the Tri-County area, out our uh, service has grown by 15 percent and it's primarily the commuter routes. Commuter routes are serving those people across the board. We have executives, we have uh, day laborers, you name it, riding our buses and it's uh, been absolutely wonderful. And as more people move to the Tri-County area, the population grows, obviously the need for public transportation grows with that. Obviously, I mean, you look at the Charleston area. I grew up here and I've, I'm from the rural area. And what we see today is nothing what it looked like even 10 years ago. It's absolutely changing. Uh, and we're changing with with the growth that we see in our communities. Yeah, yeah. are you guys finding uh, people just want to hop on a public transportation to go, go to the store, for example? Or are they using it more to not gas up their cars? Well, we're seeing both. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, routes that are circulator type routes that mm -hmm. give people uh, the opportunity to go to the store and do what they need to do as far as buying and get back home. We have those people that uh, depend on us every day to get to work. Uh, who would have thought in 1996 that a rural transit system would have parking rides. We have nine right. parking ride right. locations throughout the Tri-County area. Tell us how that works quickly. You can drive your car to a specific designated location, then hop on the bus and go where you need to That's go. That's correct. And uh, all of our commuter routes at some point in time do connect, interact with CARTA as far as transfers. And we have a reciprocal transfer agreement. Mm -hmm. That is, you pay our fare in the morning, you get a free pass to get onto CARTA, when you, if you were going into the city and when you come out of the city, you pay the car to fare, they get a uh, transfer to come to our bus free Absolutely. and continue home. Absolutely. Mr. Hutto, do you guys uh, have some kind of web page or something oh, where certainly. people can go find more information? Uh, uh, www.ridetricountylink.com. Okay, sounds great. William Hutto, thank you so much for stopping thank you by. Very I really much. appreciate that. A lot of good stuff right there. All right, coming up, it's a 5K dash, and you don't even have to get dressed for. You can just roll out of bed and head down to the PJ Run details. Coming up next.